Everyone's personality is a structured model. Sigmund Freud's psychoanalytical theory of personality explains this model is broken into three parts. The id, the ego, the superego. These parts in turn create our behaviors and reactions to certain situations. Each part has its own traits, its own tendencies. One element can overpower the other, so therefore, balance between the three is key. Well? Well what? You know, the host called us together. When is he coming to join us? I don't know. Probably be a few minutes. <sighs> Should we start without him? Sure. Why not? What's the situation? Yeah, uh, the host found an additional $300,000 that was put into his account. Get out of here! I'm serious, he saw the bank error this morning. I say keep the money. What? You heard me. I said keep the money. J just like that? Yeah. It's all about the pleasure and what I can get out of it. That's not even realistic in this situation. I don't care. I want it now. I want to spend it on houses. I want to spend it on cars. I want to spend it on whatever people buy these days with five-figure price tags in it. It doesn't matter. Listen, if I'm going to do this, I need to think logically and realistically about how we could pull this off. <laughs> You're such a realist. Kills me every time. Don't you get it? It's not every day money like this is dropped into your pocket. Rightfully, it's in your bank account and you have the God-given right to do whatever you want with it. I'm not denying that. I'm just trying to look at the bigger picture. What's there to look at? You got money? Pleasure, they go hand in hand, guaranteed satisfaction. I'm not against pleasure or satisfaction, I'm just thinking. About what? Consider this. Oh, for the love of- Just bear with me. Say if someone died. Hmm. Kind of grim for your blood. Would you just listen? All right, so the host's uncle recently passed away, leaving a large inheritance. Interestingly enough, the host didn't receive anything in the will. Now let's just say the people didn't know that the host didn't receive anything in the will. Actually, they don't know because you convinced the host to sneak a peek at the will before the reading of it. Hey, what can I say? At any rate, who's to know whether or not the host was in the will? I say the host should just sneak in and write his name in the will. His uncle was a walking multi-billion dollar bank. No one will know about the bank error except the bank itself. So what he has to do is withdraw a portion of the money, deposit it into a bank account under a different name, wait a few days, and then deposit the rest of the money in another bank account, and so on and so forth. No one will even suspect. Also, the host deserves a break. With the divorce, and having to send child support to the kids. See? Now you're thinking my way. What's going on here? Did you guys start without me? Sorry, I don't know what got into us. Did you do anything with the host yet? Did you talk the host into doing anything? Why do you think I would do that? Because I know you would. What do you think I am, stupid? As for you, did you let him talk you into doing something foolish? Um... Did you or didn't you? Maybe, I don't know. You honestly expect me to believe I don't know. You think every time something doesn't harm you and satisfies you, it's good. Why would I believe he wasn't getting into your head? 
What are you gonna do? Try to stop me like when you try to stop me from making the host cheat on his wife? That's enough. The host had no regrets at that moment. And you know it. And more importantly, he enjoyed it because of me. Why should a man be deprived of pleasure? Luckily, I didn't let it get that far. Ah, but the host was caught by his wife. And they divorced. So ultimately, you failed. I said enough! No! You're lucky I am who I am. I refuse to let you get a foothold on the host. Not again. I let him get to me again. Just drop the subject. Now the right thing to do is to admit that the bank made an error. But, I know you two both lack morals. So I'm gonna relay that plan to the host before either one of you two messes it up again. Understand? This is all your fault. Whatever. 